Hey everybody, welcome to What's Hot. We are back. Mm -hmm, We're still here. Um, so it's been almost over a month. Um, so we have lots and lots of new stuff, which means we're actually going to break this up into segments for you guys. So tomorrow, we're actually going to have a What's Hot segment going over guns, ammo, and stuff. There's so much in guns and ammo we have to talk about. It's just overwhelming us. Yeah, exactly. And really, we have a lot more clothes, fishing stuff too, but this is what we could compile into this. So um, I want to get right into it. So obviously, turkey season is still going on. Um, so we have a few turkey items we wanted to t talk about real quick. The new Primos surround view turkey decoy so i don't know if you guys are familiar with the the ground line that they came out with i think it was last year it's um a one way you can see through it but they can't see in so it's really neat it's a turkey decoy it holds it can hide yourself it looks like a strutting time imagine you're captain america but your shield is actually turkey feathers that's yeah, essentially what we're awesome talking about we're that's what we're talking <laughs> about here <laughs> <laughs> so um another another one uh uh primos came out with uh is the photo form yeah. this is a jake mm -hmm. super realistic it Something actually like, has an actual image of a yeah, jake they turkey print an actual jake turkey printed on, on this de this decoy so it's going to be super realistic mm -hmm. It's good to carry. Like, it's a good. Weight. It's a good affordable decoy yeah. too. Yeah. We got a bunch of other turkey stuff in some other Primos yeah. calls and There's things hot, as hot well. Mm -hmm. Well, we're we're kind of in that range too. We are carrying a new line of gun cases. Mm -hmm. So we have Pelican cases in. Um, a couple things with these. You can either just put the gun in as is, or you can cut out the foam around and it'll fit your gun in perfectly. Um, the latches on them are nice. Yeah. Latches on them, you don't really have to struggle with. You just kind of push them, and they pop right open, and then they just snap closed. So it's more amazing than it sounds. Yeah, it really does. This <laughs> you know, this one of these <laughs> closes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have single rifle, um, medium pistol, and then a double, double rifle. rifle. This well. one actually does have wheels on it. Yeah. So it's nice and it's mm -hmm. loaded with weight. Mm -hmm. It's like the wheel around. Yeah. If you travel. Especially flying, this is definitely what you need. Yeah, double, sure. double lock. Because you're always going to take the backup. Yeah, you could definitely <laughs> drop one of these off a 10 story building, and I'm pretty sure it would be, be fine. Right. So great for, yeah, yeah. airports, <laughs> this and that. Um, but, sure but, these valve here. Nice. Yeah, yeah. And, and we've never really carried a higher end of uh, cases, Our so case. so it's really nice to have, you know, something yeah. that'll really hold up. So yeah. that's very, very cool. So, moving on from that, um, another pretty exciting thing we have going on are our skirt selection. So, yeah. if you guys don't know, we probably have like one of the greatest skirt selections in, in all of Maryland. Right. Who, who knows even where else? Yeah, so we, we did a, we, we, we sell them in bulk, but we also sell packs too. So, this isn't a representation of all our colors, but I think there's like 20 different skirts here. And previous to this, we only had like six or something. Right. We also have a ton of banded skirts now, so just different style. Yeah. We have the slip overhead style as well as the banded style. Tons of different colors. Again, we have more kind, kinds and packages as well. But a little bit longer tail on yeah. it. Yeah. Double. They're kind of mm -hmm. like double segmented. Mm -hmm. They're pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. We just get really They're excited about skirts. Things like that. Yeah. Make me really happy. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah. but again, helps you customize your jigs, um, trolling baits, all kinds of different yeah. stuff, um, freshwater stuff as well. So just cool new component parts for sure. I feel like that kind of runs along the same line as all these Hayabusa Sabiki rigs. So we love Sabiki rigs. You know, we talked a lot about their Chesapeake Sabiki rigs last year that are made for the Bay. Um, but Hayabusa themselves came out with a uh, a bunch of new Sabiki rigs their line, but also a lot of specialty things. So um, uh, like this is a virtual fish scale and it, it just looks gorgeous. I mean, it is yeah. it is like, like if I was a perch, I would eat yep. them. Small squid sabiki rig. That's a little different than you would see anywhere. Um, this is our. Which one is this? So this is the real shrimp here. Ooh, look at those yeah. little scrimps. Yeah. Like <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's really really nice. Golden flash. Or that. Golden They're flash. Really nice, UV pink skin on this one. Yeah, yeah. This may be my favorite one here. This is the this is the hot hooks. I mean. Just, just gorgeous sabiki rigs. When you really look at them too, the hooks for the most part are much higher quality than you would get in a sabiki right. rig. So I, we all know that like sabiki rigs catch fish of all sizes. Like I put tons of huge rockfish on sabiki mm -hmm. rigs. So it's nice to have um, a better hook on it. Uh, they usually are using fluorocarbon on these. Um, they, they list what poundage the main line and, um, and, and other lines are on them. So very, very cool thing there. Um, so let's go back actually to some of the hunting stuff because we also got a lot more um, accessories in on the shooting side of it. So, so range day, we got new Walker um, impact resistant 
lens safety glasses. They actually come with four different colors for different light variations and whatnot. Little case that comes with it. Um, easy to pop out the different colors and um, to your liking if you like a gray or a yellow or an orange, whatnot, clear. That's pretty cool. If you yes. know what all the colors are for too, you get a gold star. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Also, the Walker Razor Slimline um, electronic earmuffs. These are the name of the game when it comes to hearing protection. They um, cancel out um, gunshots and they amplify noise if you're talking. They're actually even great to hunt with. If you deer hunt during the gun season, you want to amplify the sounds of nature. That's where you go. And then just your regular slim um, Walker earmuffs as well. And if you want to protect them, we have a case that you can buy that is protecting for earmuffs. earmuffs. <laughs> and then last, the wing, wing the wing one. It's a clay thrower. It's a different design. Everybody sees the one with the little hook, but these actually have a pivot here that are these are ridiculous. You can really wing it. It's Mike said it is, it is the greatest thing since yeah. sliced bread. I've really talked about it the whole time we've been closed. Yeah, yeah, it's ridiculous. So happy. Throw them the fact that we've had multiple conversations about a clay thrower itself is yeah. mind-boggling. Yeah. 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 So I really hope it's that great. Throw them out to 50. Just so yeah. Hayabusa is a new brand we're actually carrying direct. So we have a lot of products coming in from them. And, and they make a lot of like really specific things. So Roger's got some jigs in his hand here that they Boy. make. Um, Everyone's yeah. taking from me now. <laughs> saying, you can't have them. He doesn't want to show anybody. Yeah, so these are going to be, what's that, 20 grams, so 20. like two-thirds of an ounce. That's going to be two ounces. Um, yeah, different colors. Things, like, I feel like I've never seen anything like this they're just, around here, at least. They're just ridiculous. And then we got smaller ones here, 12 grams for the uh, for perch around pilings. Mm -hmm. I feel like that'll be devastating. That'll yeah, be the uh, you may not be able to see it, but the colors are and the uh, the uh, holographics are yeah, amazing on them. They all have a double drop hook. Of course, you could trade out the treble hook on the back, but right. but just really nice jigs. We haven't gotten to jig those. So I'm interested in seeing the action on them. Yeah, they look um, like they're gonna do a real good. They, yeah, they look like they're gonna be awesome. So we're definitely excited to fish those. It looks like the description says they flutter, but I can't read it because it's in another language. But yes. it definitely looks like they flutter. And you know it's good if it's in another language. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so we also got some new pogey stuff so they came out with what they call we've always carried the um blah blah what are these called epoxy jigs so they came out with a peanut bunker color beautiful mm -hmm. um we also have um some of the other colors we carry we got in larger sizes so we also added the um the two ounce i believe to to this yeah. line as well which is pretty cool a couple other things that hoagie came out with new this year actually um first is uh, a lot of people so this is going to be a great rockfish lure but like the reason that it's mostly popular is for tarpon especially yeah, right in florida but again as we know we have tarpon in the lower bay too so this this is what they call their slow tail it's a double curl tail on the back here you can see mm -hmm. Huge, huge, huge VM Steed Dev. Dev yeah. So that's usually when you find the lures that that get this action that everybody's looking for for the tarpon. It's not the right hook. Right. So this is actually combining both, which also means it's a great lure for big rockfish because it's a really strong, large gap hook. So that's kind of exciting on two different two different things there. Um, Mike also has some of their new rigged barbarian jigs heads. So sweet. so these barbarian jig heads are that same big hook on them. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been known for their bar barbarian jigs, but now they're actually doing them rigged. So this is with an eight inch paddle tail on them. So we have those in a couple of colors and obviously they put a skirt on them too. So that's kind of cool yeah. um cool I mean, there blurple nice. blurple and bone mm -hmm. yeah really really nice stuff there uh, <laughs> so the combat frog what's going on there yeah, yeah so the combat frog um this is due to us um what i like about this one when you uh when you like jerk this over water um the legs kind of like get stuck behind it so it really looks like it's a real frog kicking it's super super realistic good hooks on it Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Texas Toad's the color. Mm -hmm. So we also have tons, which we may as well just everybody pull these up. So mm -hmm. the Hayabusa hooks. Um, so we're always looking for, you know, with snakehead being so, so relevant, um, right. we're using tons of weedless hooks. So we're always looking for little differences that make something better. So Hayabusa A offers some combinations in weights and hook sizes that other companies don't offer, but also a couple of little things like this is one of Alex's favorite things and, and he actually has a very good point on this. Um, so some of their, their weedless 
weighted hooks, they actually print the weight on the weight. So yeah. when you actually have a tackle box, like most of us do with like six different weights and you have no idea what any of yeah. them are, you'll actually be able to tell. Um, played with the hooks, very sharp hooks, great component parts. So things like um, their little hook, their actual screw and hook keeper, mm -hmm. it's much nicer than what you would get in most of the other brands. So really a real high quality hook. I know they're pretty popular of the fast people and stuff like that, um, but gonna be great for um, the snakehead stuff there. Roger's got a couple of different ones, so what do you, yeah, what do you got? Yeah, these are the uh, straight flipping ones. Um, they have little mono uh, trailer keepers on the back of them. Mm -hmm. Those are nice. Yeah, and Strong, just a hook when you chain. feel it in the snap, it's, like you know it's, yeah. a, it's a good flip. Ripping quality. those lunkers out of grass. Oh, and then yeah. Roger and I's favorite, because we both like the wacky rig. Yeah. And yeah, yeah it's, it's a real good time. The, we have them in two aught and one aught, the special wacky wire guard hooks. They have a wire. Um, um, keeper on the or weed guard, weed guard on there to help it become weedless, and they're super strong, super sharp, and they're pretty yeah. awesome. If you're whacking re or wacky rigging senkos, that's what you want to do yeah. with, <laughs> which is what oh, all, I do. All, <laughs> all we do. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm gonna figure out a way to perch fish with a wacky rig. <laughs> so, we also have here, grab this one. Um, so we also have a ton of new hook clothing. So a lot of the regular t-shirts came in actually while we were closed. Uh, a lot of really nice prints. I feel like like a, probably a little more generic, but, but a lot of really nice stuff. Um, new colors in our lightweight breathable button down. So these are the ones with the um, tiny little pinholes under the armpit and on the back for you. So again, those coming in different colors, all kinds of different shorts, women's clothing too. Um, I'll probably throw it out there now. I think we're going to be announcing a big clothing sale too. too uh, and it's going to start when we uh, kick off, but we'll probably announce that tomorrow or something like that. So that'll also be exciting. We'll definitely bring that to you. Um, lastly, I think we have a ton of beer here. Um, so the other day, we always have a great craft beer selection we buy usually from local people, but I was shopping and I noticed this gem in the, in the cabinet. Yeah. which is probably one of the Regular single beer. greatest pieces of marketing <laughs> I've ever seen because it's a beer that tastes like beer. So uh, that's from DeClaw there. We also have Solar Power Sour. If you're into sour beer, I have no idea what that tastes like, but it sounds crazy. It's amazing. Uh, <laughs> Speed Wobbles, I actually think we've had for a while. We just haven't actually um, um, promoted it. That's actually a really good tasting beer. Yeah. Um, it's the, just the shimmy, not the shake. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. Uh, I just crush a lot. Tart fruit, ale brewed with blood orange i don't even know where to start with that one yeah. like what what is that going to taste like it's and also amazing a, is it mm -hmm. it's really good <laughs> so we also have fin city and devil's backbone here so we we obviously carry lots and lots of fish themed beer so yeah. fin city and uh devil's backbone make a ton so we have the striped bass pale ale cans which are always great as well as uh fin city i think we have several but this is the double indian pale ale so double hook just like the shirts so yes nice. yes very exciting so anyway i think that is pretty much it for today. Hopefully we'll be coming back to you with some details on our pen event later today. And then tomorrow we're going to talk ammo and guns. Woo! All mm -hmm. So that's going to be really exciting. There's a lot to talk about there. So really excited. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you all have been safe and we look forward to seeing you guys after Friday.